Hey you guys, so Isa came over the other day. He helped me get the hatch thrown onto the car. Um, we have a fresh hatch seal now. This is not the same hatch seal that we were running. Same hatch seal was over there. That's the original hatch seal. It's all covered in paint and stuff. So that was the reason why we replaced it. We got overspray all over it. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. Um, we also got seam sealer down up in here. That is so that way the hatch will not leak and we will be good to go. Hopefully we're good to go. Um, we got a bunch of energy suspension bushings in the mail. Basically, we got all of our control arm bushings. Um, these little bushings right here are basically the bushings for these guys right here. Um, we still need to press them out and replace them with these bushings. That's something for another day because we're not at ESA's to use the press. Um, but these are actually the bushings that hold our upper control arms on. They go up like that and those hold our upper control arms. Um, we're working on putting installing these bushings right now. These are the shock mount bushings. Um, as you can see, this lower control arm already has both bushings installed, shock mount, and then the actual lower control arm bushing. Um, the shock mount bushing is this big guy. You actually have to order this in a separate set. The set is 16.8103R shock mount bushings. The R just means that they're red. And then um, the control arm bushing kit is this one, 163103R Honda front control arm bushing set. Um, anyways, so I'm getting these pushed in. They're pretty easy to do. You can do these by hand. You just have to remove your stock bushings. <laughs> you guys don't remember um, last summer or whenever we were doing it, me and Isa were trying to push these bushings out of my OG CRX HF control arms. And it was getting so gnarly that this control arm was bending under the weight of the 20 ton press. And that bushing refused to snap out. As you can see, this bushing completely like we just destroyed it and it's still in there. So 6205 Gene actually gave me two more sets of lower control arms. Um, and these, this was pretty much a fresh set. This set came with no bushings in it and it was already painted. So huge shout out to 6205 Gene for saving the day there. Um, here is a fresh lower control arm with no bushings in it at all. I've already gotten um, the actual control arm bushing started. You're gonna have three pieces here. Check this out. This is all you're gonna need to do. This is a bit of a messy job. So um, you might wanna wear gloves. It's just grease, so I'm not really tripping on it. But you're gonna wanna get one side of the bushing completely lubricated and then you're also going to want to get this middle bit completely lubricated um pop one side of the bushing in it should pop in fairly easy i did this with my own strength and then we're going to get this middle piece and we're going to slide this middle piece all the way in there um they're going to be a snug fit but the grease will definitely help you get it in there see that she's already going in there it does take a little bit of strength, but guys, I am not the strongest person in the world. So if I can do this, you can do this too. And then from there, we're gonna squeeze the last side of it in. I kind of just use my palms to do this. Ah, cool. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. And then from there, we're going to insert our actual little wrist pin. I've been doing, you know, if you guys watch the channel, I've been doing a lot of engine assembly lately, so I'm gonna call these wrist pins because they look like wrist pins. But lubricate that guy and just slide it in her. I kind of just sandwich it in there. Oh geez, we're pushing one out, God damn it. Our fat boy, our shock mount bushing. And now we're gonna lubricate everything. I like to at least lubricate the inside of this first. Um, just that way it helps the bushings to slide in there easier. You're gonna wanna use this energy suspension lubricant. They're gonna give you a ton of these and this is good stuff. If you use this stuff and use it generously, meaning use all of it, they're gonna give you a lot of it, guys. Don't try to save this stuff. Definitely use all of it because a lot of people complain about energy suspension bushings being squeaky. And I've ran energy suspension bushings in multiple, multiple cars, pretty much every car since my first car. They've never been squeaky for me, but I'm also very generous with the lube. <laughs> so definitely be like that. 
this one actually went in really easily. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow, she just squeezed right in. Hell yeah, baby. Let's get our wrist pin lubricated. Hell yeah, boom. And that is how you do energy suspension bushings installed by hand, ooh. Okay guys, so we got our lower control arms pressed in with new energy suspension bushings. And these are our spindles. We rebuilt these spindles months ago at Issa's house. They have um, fresh hubs, fresh bearings. These are SI hubs and they have fresh ball joints. So hell yeah, buddy. Um, front suspension is almost all wrapped up. All we need to do next is um, press in our upper control arm bushings. These are the bushings that go up in here. That is something we're going to do another day, but we have that entirely wrapped up and ready to go. Um, so the Yonke has been misfiring. The B16 has been running kind of funny again. And um, this is what the spark plugs looked like. So Jesus Christ, baby. She was running very, very rich very rich um i'm not too sure why but we have a fresh set of spark plugs i gapped these to 0 0.03 ninths of an inch so um let's throw these in and see what's up yeah Okay, guys, um, suspension day. We're gonna get all of this front suspension thrown onto that car. So we just got back from Issa's house yesterday, pressing out all of these stock bushings. These are stock metal sleeve bushings. Um, they really were not too hard to pre press out. Um, those are the bushings that were right here in our upper control arms. We now have some energy suspension bushings. The energy suspension bushings were super easy to get in, but you actually do still need a press for them. I know I usually say that you never need a press for energy suspension bushings. These ones did need a press because this plastic is like super, 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 super hard compared to what the bushings down here are made out of. These are much softer. These ones are like literally skateboard wheels. But anyway, this is all my front suspension that we're going to be running on that car. These are our spindles that we rebuilt in a previous video these were originally hf spindles because both of these cars are hfs and if you guys don't know the crx hf uses the small spline axle so what we did was we pressed out the hf hubs got some si hubs and brand new bearings pressed in brand new ball joints and now we're ready to run the big the big axles um, as for our control arms, these are stock CRX control arms with energy suspension bushings pressed in. These actually came from 6205 Jean because what I just told Julian was that our original arms were like seized. We couldn't get the bushings out and the control arms were actually flexing in the press and we just gave up on it. Um, 6205 Jean shot us two pairs of control arms and we were finally able to get a set of bushings out of one of them. And then these are our stock oem upper control arms these have the same bushing or the same ball joints in them because the ball joints actually are not in bad condition we were running function and form type ones previously and we are still going to be running these because these are still some of my favorite coilovers ever these are the old school function and form type ones these are not the new ones that are made now these are like 10 years old i got these from a homie when we parted out his old race car anyways this is all going to get thrown onto that car so let's get going 
Oh yeah, and um, remember when I didn't put that bushing on? Well, that bushing is now on. We have the dust boot on the steering column, so we are ready to proceed. Um, it's a little dusty, so we're gonna wipe everything down before we throw an engine in here. But this is basically gonna be the last time we install any of these parts. These are going on for good now. This is for that side because the um, traction bar, you can see the, the um, angle of the radius rod. So let's start with this one. Okay guys, so I got this control arm installed like this on purpose. I did not grease the bushing after installing the bushing and check this out. Do you hear that? People always tell me the energy suspension bushings cause a lot of squeaks and just a lot of noise in their car and they don't like them because of that. And I've always had silent rides with energy suspension bushings. Well, this is probably the noise they're talking about. I don't install bushings like this. Energy suspension gives you a ton of these little grease packets. Um, a lot of people say they give you more than you need. Well, I don't think they give you more than you need. I think that if you use all of the grease that they give you, then your bushings will be sufficiently greased and they won't make any noise. So check this out. We're gonna get these, we're gonna get this guy all greased up. And then when we install it, we're gonna do another little sound demonstration and see if we're gonna have any of that noise when we're driving. Check this out, bushings installed, all greased up. And holy crap, no noise at all. Grease your bushings up. This has an R on it. The R means right side. Right side is your driver's side for left-hand drive. Left-hand drive is the right side. Um, I guess the flash flood warning actually happened. Holy shit. <laughs> So the rain's over, let's get back to work. You guys remember my billet drop forks, right? Those are my coilovers. Those are set up and ready to go. If you guys didn't know, um, I guess, okay. So last time we had this car on the road, we loosened all of the preload in the coilover so that way we could be low despite running stock EF forks and stock EF everything. <laughs> so the ride quality was never really too great, ask my friends. But um, now that we are running the drop forks, we are able to put all the preload back onto our coilover. So these are now stiff and not loose. And um, I was adjusting the height because with full low on the coilovers and the MPC drop forks, 
our upper control arms smack into our shock towers. <laughs> so we added a bunch of height to the coilovers. This is pretty much where they're set up now. We have a decent amount of preload. And then that there is a really large brake rotor that I was test fitting to my wheel. <laughs> so I'm going to get all of this stuff thrown together. But first, we're going to go get our traction bar because I was looking at the fitment with the MPC drop fork and like, oh boy, it would be a really good idea to get these, um, these traction bar bolts in right now because like, look at that guys. <laughs> It's going to be a tight fit. Here's our traction bar. This is an innovative version 2 bar. This is the bar I've ran on the car every time I've ever driven the car ever. So um, we're going to throw this back on. It is dirty. It is not cleaned up or painted or anything like everything else. The reason why is because, as you can see, we used the traction bar to mount our radiator. We are still going to be mounting the radiator to the traction bar, but we're also going to be now mounting our intercooler to the traction bar. So we're going to probably have some more tabs coming out of the traction bar and um we're obviously going to be grinding it and welding it to do that so until we do that we are going to leave this traction bar as is and when it is finally all said and done we will give it a fresh coat of black paint and we'll probably refinish these guys in some viper red why not <laughs> side done let's pick up our other lower control arm it's been getting all wet in the rain and let's get this one slapped on remember guys use your grease 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 it's so easy to do things when you can just sit in your engine bay <laughs> if you ever pull your engine take advantage of this time to redo a bunch of stuff that is a lot easier to work on when you can just sit in here. This is our spoon replica strut bar. We got this from our friend Brandon. We'll put it up like that. This looks like this is going to be the last time that we bolt our shocks to our shock towers. So um, let's do the strut bar as well. That's cool. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go with Dylan to Compass because I need to get some wheels for the Yonke because if you guys haven't noticed, I've been stealing the Yonke's wheels, oh my God. <laughs> so let's get the other side done really quick. All we have to do is throw on the upper control arm first and then we'll get the spindle on and then we'll be good to go. So how about yeah? Hey you guys, so let's wrap up this video. It's been like three, four, five days on the vlog. It's been a while. And I know that you guys are probably wondering, whoa, what are those? <laughs> but we'll get to that later. Um, I actually recorded like a little cinematic and everything to introduce our taillights, but um, I didn't like it. So we'll do that in the next video. Anyways, what do you guys think about this? We are on wheels and we're not on any wheels. We're on some nice wheels. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? Let me know what you guys think about this. This is another huge, 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 huge step forward for us, guys. So not only is the car 80% fully painted, but now we got complete suspension. We're on wheels. And um, yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit, guys. <laughs> We're going to do a real 
big break hit. Not no budget poor boy EX spindle nonsense that we pull out of the junkyard. Hell no. This is a real big break kit. And these are going to be brakes that are bigger than any stock Honda. Any stock Honda. Hell yeah, baby. Um, we're going to get into all of that later. Expect that in the future. If you're excited for all of that, definitely like and subscribe. We will be back very soon, boys. And um, maybe on the road very soon. Right now, what you're looking at is our front innovative traction bar. I told you guys yesterday that the bar is still dirty and ugly because it is only here for mock-up purposes. We are going to be mocking up our intercooler into this bumper pretty much right here and we're going to be using the bar to make tabs to mount the intercooler right so after we do all of that the bar will be painted and it will look as pretty as everything else we are covered in dust but we have our oem lower control arms from 6205 gene with fresh energy suspension bushings pressed into them we have our drop forks those things are massive <laughs> and um our coilovers are actually preloaded now and they actually feel very, very, very stiff. When I jack this car up, um, it's so easy to jack up now. It only takes like two pumps from the jack on this side and like both wheels will be lifted in the front end. Like literally both wheels will be lifted with like two pumps of the jack. It's so awesome. Anyways, you guys, for the most part, this stuff is all permanently installed. The only thing that will be removed again are the drop forks. So we could pop our axles in and the traction bar because we're going to be grinding and welding it and then we will finally paint it and once we fully install it that will be permanently in too but um yeah guys our engine install is very easy all we do is drop our traction bar off pop off our front bumper and then we just slide it in there you guys have seen me do it before on this car and that is exactly how we will continue doing it we also replace that bushing right there and um yeah brakes are coming up so if you're excited for all the progress to come, definitely like and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Um, maybe save an EF. Bye.